Aquashella today, this weekend, Aquashella is going on in Dallas. It's a freshwater and saltwater convention, and I'm having a blast so far. Right now it's Saturday, I'm in the first day, and it's really busy. There's a lot going on. I've been wandering around a lot today and just exploring and having a lot of fun. So I'm at the fish tube booth right now. Everybody's kind of busy signing things and just chatting with people. And then I think I'm gonna walk around for a little bit. I've been really excited about something for this convention, and that has been my Shoe, look at those shoes. Watch what I'm gonna do with these shoes. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> these are my favorite shoes, guys. I've been waiting to wear them for so long now, and I'm so happy because I can do it here and it's socially acceptable. <laughs> Got the music playing loud How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kinda proud I got my dancing shoes on And I'm feeling dangerous Let's get this party started So I'm really enjoying the whole vibe and all the cool artwork here and I really like it. It feels less corporate like some of the other conventions I've been to. It feels a lot more uh, cozy maybe? Just the vibe is a little bit different and I really like it. Like look, all this really cool like graffiti type art behind me, it's really neat. They have this entire like little room dedicated to all this like really cool artwork. Look at this behind me, it looks like I'm under the sea in this crazy neon rave ocean and I love it. was the aquatic experience uh, quite a while ago, if you remember that video. I became kind of unhealthily obsessed with flower horns. I've never had a big fish before. Like, I'm usually I just do little tiny nano fish. But I feel like if I, had, I got to choose a big fish, it would be a flower horn. Because look at this fearless little, kind of weird, very pretty little guy. It's, it's right at my alley. He's so cute. Where I live, like I can't find Hardscape anywhere. I have to go order individual things off of eBay and have them shipped to me, which is a huge pain in the butt. And so I'm hoping like at the end of this convention, near the end, I can just go around and get some good deals on a bunch of Hardscape. Like, look at all this, this is amazing. There's so much to use from. and I just wish that I could bring some home with me on the airplane, but I probably won't. But I sure am eyeing them up. I like this vendor setup. They have nice kind of big display jars and tannins in the water. That's a pretty cool setup. I'm gonna be ogling them for a while and maybe trying to figure out how I can get one or two or three or four home. kind of public vote he might win because you know he's quite a popular guy. 
I don't think I could actually beat George legitimately, but this is a crowd vote, and I'm gonna win for sure. <laughs> Sounds cheesy, but it's not really about winning or losing. It's about promoting aquascaping, which is it's what I'm all about. So uh, it's really a privilege to be able to work with Joey and do this kind of collaboration. It's really early in the morning. We're doing a Dunkin' Donuts run. We're gonna grab like 200 people worth of coffee and some donuts. I'm pretty excited. I don't have like good donuts where I'm from, so I'm looking at all of these. Taylor's gonna try amazing. to eat them all before we even get there. Hey, so. I've never had a Dunkin' Donuts sandwich before. I am about to be blown away. <laughs> Cheers. So it's still early right now. We're waiting for people to, to come in. We're signing cards. This is my little card. I've been signing my name on it. People are so sweet. They've been stopping me and telling me that they enjoy watching my stuff, uh, which blows my mind, and I love it. There's a booth here that has leopard geckos, and I think they're so cute. And I'm highly considering just surprising uh, my family with a couple new pets. It's a great idea, right? It's probably a great idea. Nature Box pets, let me hold one. Look, do I need a leopard gecko, guys? Do I need one? So this is a blizzard leopard gecko. Oh, I think they're so beautiful. I really love the white ones. White bettas, too, they're fantastic. Something about just this beautiful white little lizard makes me love them. I'm over here at the Custom Aquariums booth, and everyone knows who Custom Aquariums is because they did stuff for Joey for the King of DIY, and they also did stuff for Solid Gold. And they're here at the convention. Uh, which is neat, kind of showing off these sweet seahorses. I think it'd be so fun to have a seahorse, just mainly for bragging rights, um, but I feel like they're fairly high maintenance, and that's a little bit scary. And they also do like custom cages, it's custom cages too, and reptile enclosures, and they do reptile racks. It's been like this little dream of mine to someday work with some kind of genetic project in like leopard geckos or crested geckos, and so I'm over here daydreaming about uh, doing reptiles. So these kinds of racking systems, they're, they're generally used in like in reptile breeding setups where you might be dealing with a large amount of animals at once that have to grow out, that have to be separated from each other, um, that have to be taken care of individually, and you really need to go vertical in order to maintain that many little creatures until they, they grow out. And a lightweight like plat rack like this with interchangeable buckets in it, like they come in bigger sizes than this too, and it's all modular and interchangeable, and they lock. Stuff like this gets me daydreaming about like all of my future projects I could be doing. Don't tell my husband that I'm here looking at reptile racks and getting way too many ideas. Do you know how many cool animals I could have if I had these big modular cages? This would be a dangerous situation for me. This is like one of my favorite tanks here. I just love that it's this huge circular shape and all of these beautiful little neon tetras just, they go in a circle and they just never stop. It's just a non-stop circle and it's so neat and kind of mesmerizing and really peaceful. And I wish I had this tank at home. There are so many great like saltwater displays here and people selling corals and saltwater fish. And that's not really something that I've ever considered doing before, is actually maybe experimenting with saltwater and having a saltwater tank. But it's something that I'm, I'm thinking about more and more. It's like, gosh, how fun would it be to like try this whole other little world of, of fish tanks that I've never even considered trying before. I'm seeing everything here and it's just so magical, like to somebody who's never been in the saltwater realm and doesn't know a whole lot about it. And it's all just so pretty and so cool. Maybe I should try it. saltwater tank, a little beginner tank, would probably be a lot of fun.
so far walking around. I hope I was able to uh, show just how interesting it was. So much fun to be able to come to these big conventions. This is only the second one I've ever been to. And I hope I was able to show you just how much fun it was. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and have a great day.